them on it. Any more meat on there? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Verse 52. Then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law and so they committed evils in the land. All right, go ahead and read that again. Oh, it's a lot that I miss you. Okay. Verse 52. Then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit everyone that forsook the law and so they committed evils in the land. So they committed evils in the land. So you had Israelites forsaken the heavenly father and his son, the heavenly father, he committed evils in the land by what? Becoming Greek. He forsaken the statue of the commandments, man. Okay, see? Israel is Israel is going off and becoming like becoming like uh them Edomites. Just doing whatever. And not following the guidelines, the blueprint that the Heavenly Father set up. So they take it on the Greek custom, the Greek way of life, man. Okay, go ahead. And drove the Israelites into secret places. Yeah, so you had some Israelites getting up out of there, man. Because they didn't want to get put to death. Okay? You had some Israelites get up out of there because they didn't want to get put to death and forsake the statute law and commandments of, of, of Yahweh, man. Bah Shimmy Yahweh shot. Okay? So you had some that became Greek, and you better believe they were teaching their children, man. So over time, over time, they forgot about the statute law and commandments, man. Okay? That's how it came about, man. Israel was forsaking their customs, man. Okay? Go ahead. Even wheresoever they could flee for succor. Now the 15th day of the month. Oh, that's it on that. Okay. All right, that's it on that. So, there you go, man. There's the history, some of the history on the Greek Empire, our Israelites became Greeks, man. You can't get around it, man. That's the history that they don't teach in these fake churches, man. In these fake crab eating, lobster eating, pork chop eating churches, man. Okay? In these parlor houses, man. Huh? Yeah, in these parlor houses, man. And then they call themselves going in there to get away from the world. The world is in there. Straight confusion. And those fake Christians, they don't, they don't read the Bible, man, with understanding. And you got a lot of them just don't read it, period. They just go with whatever the uh, they fake they fake pastor uh, tells them. Okay? Whatever they fake pastor tell them, that's what they believe. Okay? Without uh researching it and going into it, okay? But when you come, yeah, with no questions asked, but when you come and listen to this word, nah, we expect you to go research, okay? We expect you to look up things. We expect you to look up what we're saying. We expect for you to go read it through the spirit of power y'all watching out shot. We don't tell you not, hey, you better not go read that. Don't look up the history I just spoke about. Nah, it is what it is. Nah, we ain't gonna get mad at you. Do it, we encourage you. Research, we encourage you. All right, so we finna jump, we finna jump to uh, uh, John, whoever wanna get it, we finna jump to John, the seventh chapter, in the 35th verse. John 7 and 35. Alright, this is uh, John chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews amongst, amongst them, amongst themselves, 
whether will whether will we whether will he go that we shall not find him right will he go onto the disperse. disperse amongst the gentiles and teach the gentiles all right now we finna look up that word disperse okay let's find out what that word disperse means Understand, okay. So that's why we we are, are going over it because you can never go over go over go over this enough when you're dealing with the Gentiles and they're dealing with the there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. You can never go over this enough, man. Because you always got Israelite waking up, the elect waking up. All right. Right? And it's 12G, meaning Greek, 1290, right? And we're gonna go down here and see what it say. I'm gonna go straight to the point. It says, of Israelites dispersed among foreign nations. So read that again. This is John. Chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews amongst themselves, Whether will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go on to the first, first amongst the Gentiles? So you got Israelites dispersed amongst other nations. Okay? So they basically asking this question. Where is he going to go? To the Israelites? Okay, they're scattered amongst the, uh, the other nations. To teach them? So that's what it's basically saying. Okay? When it's saying the Gentiles, to teach the Gentiles, those are Israelites. Okay? So they were saying, is he going to go amongst the Gentiles, to teach the Gentiles? You got two different kinds of Gentiles. Okay? Matter of fact, we're gonna look up that word Gentile there too. You got two different kinds of Gentiles. You got Gentiles, uh, which are like, uh, matter of fact, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the brother read it. Give me, uh, I think it's First Ezra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the brother read it right here. First Ezra. Uh, Zach, you can get it. But, but keep what you got. Uh, uh, all right, you can get uh, First Ezra. Uh, let's see here, chapter eight, verse sixty-nine. First Ezra, chapter eight, verse sixty-nine. And read uh, 69 and 70. First Ezra 69 and uh, 70, chapter uh, 8. This is First Ezra ch chapter 8, verse 69. The nation of Israel, the princess, the princesses, the priest, and the Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. Go ahead. Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. The pollution of the Gentiles. You got two different kinds of the Gentiles. You got Israelites, all right, which take on the customs of the other nations and they become Gentile, all right? Then you got actual Gentile. And, and the scriptures for the name, go ahead. 
with y'all other other nations. Go ahead. Have not put away from them the strange people of the land, nor the pollutions of the Gentiles, to wit, of the Canaanites, them Africans, the Hittites, them so-called Africans, the Parasites, the them, them so-called Africans, the Jebusites, them so-called Africans, and the Moabites, them uh, that's the, that's the, uh, Chinese. Egyptians, that's the, uh, the so-called Africans, and the Edomites, so-called white. So it'll give you a list of the Gentiles, man. Okay? Just the other nations, man. It didn't give you all the list of the Gentiles, but just the other nations, man. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 70. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters. Go ahead. And the holy seed is mixed Go ahead. with the stranger people of the land. Yeah, so it was mixed, man. They was taking on the custom of them people, man. See that? So they became Gentiles, man. So, all right, the water for that, all right. Okay. Here's what you got, the definition of the word Gentile over here. In uh, John 7 and 35, to see what the word what what, what they're going to bring up. They might go to ethnos. <laughs> oh, Helen. Okay. That word, that word there is Helen. Okay. That's... Okay, I forgot that that word there is Helen. Okay, but uh, now that, that, that is key. This is where they finna go off. It says, uh, "I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna go to this point." I read uh, the second. It says, "In a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews." Okay. He says, all nations, not Jew, right? That made the language, custom, and learning of the Greeks their own primary reference into a difference of religion and worship. Now, we know they lying right there because we just read the history in the Maccabees. I'll read it again. It says, in a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews. Okay? That, that right there is a lot. Okay? Because the Israelites, okay, became Greek when we were reading in the Maccabees. Right? So, we're going to go to the Zandavan Compact Bible Dictionary. Now, Helen, now Helen is, uh, we finna go to the Bible Dictionary. Now we finna look up the word, uh, uh, we gonna look up the word, we gonna look up some words here. Let me see if I can find them quick enough. I know Jake, Jake, uh, uh okay, I got Helen, this is right there, okay, and I wanna go to, to, uh, Greece, Greece, right? Uh, this in the Zandavan, this in the, let me make sure I got it. Okay, this in the, this in the, this in the Zandavan Compact Bible Dictionary, right? On page 207, okay? It's in the Zandavan Compact Bible Dictionary, and this is on page 207. And I'm gonna jump around here, okay? It says, uh, it says Greece, Grisha, Grecian. Grisha is Greece, the home of the Hellenism, Greeks, and Grecian. However, 
are to be distinguished. Greeks are generally those of, of a of Hellenic race. Uh, it says Grecians were Greek speaking Jews, folk of the diaspora, I mean of the diaspora from areas predominantly Greek. Now, we're going to go to Acts 6 and 1. I'm going to let Kazak read Acts 6 and 1, but keep what you got. We're going to go to Acts 6 and 1, right? This is Acts chapter 6, verse 1. Let's see what that says. Like. Go ahead. And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians. Now, when you deal with that word Grecians, that's really Israelites. Or, or they will put the word Helen, Helen there. Okay? That's really Israelites. Okay? Now, if you don't know the history of the Maccabees, you won't know that they're dealing with an Israelite when you go into the blue letter. Because according to the blue letter, it's saying that it's not talking about Israelite. When you read the blue letter, okay, when you look up the word Gentile and it goes into the word Helen, it's saying it's not talking about no Israelite. But over there in Acts, it mentioned Grecian, okay, and over here in the Zandamon Compact Bible Dictionary, it says Grecian. I mean, it mentioned Hellenin. It mentioned Hellenin, okay, over here, okay. And when we went into the Bible Dictionary and we looked up the word, we looked at the word Grecian, and it took us, it looked, it took us to uh, 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 Hellenin, okay. And then the definition is Grecian, where Greek-speaking Jews, folks of the diaspora from areas predominantly Greek and it's Acts 6 and 1 and that word there is Grecian. So it's an Israelite. Okay? It was Israelites that took on the custom of the Greeks which were Edomites at that time. Now give me Acts 16 and 1. Acts chapter 16 verse 1 Then came he to Derby and Listeria and behold a certain disciple was That's there Acts 16 and 1 yeah, Acts 16 and 1 Right Yeah Okay go ahead And behold a certain disciple was there Right Name T Timotheus Yep The son of the son of a certain woman Huh which was a Jewess uh -huh. and believed, but his father was a Greek. So his father was a what? A Greek, but he was an Israelite, okay? So in other words, what, what it's saying in Acts, uh, uh, Timothy's father was keeping the custom of the Greek, but, but his mother knew that he was an Israelite. Okay, but they were both Israelite, but his father was keeping the custom of the Greeks, man. So there you go, man. There you go. So going back to the Maccabees and fast forward into the future in the book of Acts, you see well, over periods of time, over periods of time, Israel was still practicing the custom of the Greeks, man. And that was doing the Roman Empire in the book of Acts. So they were still keeping the custom of the Greek. Timothy Father was. Okay? And he was known as a what? A Hellenist. And when you go deep into it, a Hellenist is somebody who don't know they're Israelite. Somebody who don't even know. They're just keeping the custom of the Greeks, man. Okay? But over in the blue letter, it said they had nothing to do with Israelites. They lying. 
So you see how that work? Now, I'm gonna read this. I'm instilling Xanavid Compact Bible Dictionary. Okay, the water for that. Is this some more on that? Is no. that? Okay. All right. All right, the water for that. Then I'm gonna go back to the Xanavid Compact Bible Dictionary again. This is uh, page page uh, 207. It says, Paul, and Paul needed his Greek education as he needed the Judaism, which that's all. Ain't no such thing as Judaism. Of Gamaliel, 